Good day, fellow. Seto is back. Today, we are going to evaluate the sigma notation. We are going to evaluate sigma notation. C. Going to evaluate the sigma notation. It's so simple, don't worry. Suppose if I were to give you this sigma notation of 20 somewhere here, and it's equal to 2, let's see if somewhere here 2, n plus 1, c, then I ask you to evaluate the following given sigma notation. How are you going to do that? Check so simple firstly we need to figure out the number of terms see the number of terms how we have a general formula the last term the first term we are going to say 20 minus 2 this one plus 1 we always add that one Please don't forget to add that one. Then immediately after doing this, 20 minus this one, you get 18 plus 1. You are going to get 19. You see now, immediately after doing this, we can then do what? Establish what our series by finding out, let's say, three terms. You see? Now, Let's go and figure out first term. Then as for first term, we're going to take our general formula, which is 2. Where you see n, please start by substituting the given number, which is 2 plus 1. Get 4 plus 1, which is 5. See, let us move to term 2. Then now from 2, we move to 3. You see, 2, 3, plus 1, then you get 6, plus 1, you get 7. Then our term 3 is going to be now 2, substitute 4 now, plus 1. You get 8, plus 1, which is going to be 9. You see, it's so simple. Don't forget that this value is our a value term one immediately after doing this we can then now do what figure out our d value because you can clearly see that this one is an arithmetic int and term in a way or a general formula of a linear then for us to figure out the value of d we must say seven minus five then we get 2, then 9 minus 7, same, we get 2. Then now we have n value. You see, we have n value, or the number of 10, which is 19, a value, which is 5, d, which is 2. From here, you can then do what? Consider this formula. See? This formula. Let us consider this formula now. Where you see n, you plug in 19. 19 by 2, sorry, 2. A value, we got 5. Put 5. N, 19. Minus 1, our d value we got 2. Everything now we do have s19, we have 19 over 2, we get 10 plus this one, we get 18 multiplied by 2, we get 1936c. Then I don't have much space. 
we can then now take out our calculator and try to figure out this one 19 over 2 then open bracket to close then determine this one we must get 47 see for this one you see then now we have evaluated what now our sigma notation we also have another way you see you can either consider this one this formula or this one also have this formula now see this formula tn which is n over 2 a plus l see for this one we need number of terms we already got 19 do we have 19 you see we already have 19 do we have a value yes it's 5 got 5 term 1 then that l value is your last term then let us consider this and substitute 20 you see we substitute 20 on this formula then we are going to say now 20 which is going to be our even 20 plus 1 you should get mm, this you should get the bill 41 is 41 see we get 40 then plus 1 is 41 immediately after doing this you i'm sorry about the light let me write here you can then uh let me write it again see i'm trying to, to run away from this light you see then if n over 2 a plus l which is n 19 we have 19 over 2 we have a which is 5 plus l is 41 then you see you can then just take your calculator and press see you must get 437 you see we get the same answer now 437 437 you see you can either use this one or this one it doesn't matter any of the two at the end of the day you must get the same answer do you understand now my fellow let me give you this one now let me give you another one to see if you are moving with me then let's say if i were to give you now the sigma of 10 n is equal to 1 let's say here we have what now we have 1 over 2 n see firstly number of terms number of terms number of terms Number of terms we say 10 minus this one plus one. Don't forget that one. Don't forget that one. Yeah? Then we are going to get 10. So simple. Immediately after doing this, let us figure out what our our series by figuring term one. Where you see n we plug in one. Then it's going to be now 1 over 2, 1, which is 1 over 2. Let us go to term 2. We plug in 2. We get 1 over 4. To 3. You plug in 3. This one is much simpler. Plug in 3. Get 1 over 8. See? Then this is our A value. You see? This is our A value. Then for us to figure out the value of R. We are going to say for us to figure out the value of r we are going to say now uh, 1 over 4 divided by half 
if you get 1 over 2, same if you take this one, 1 over 8 divided by 1 over 4, you should get 1 over 2, which is your R value. You see, we have R value, we have, sorry, we have A value, we have R value, we also have number of terms, which is 10. Then, do we know the formula to calculate the sum of the geometric? Yes, we do. This one. See? 1 minus Rn. 1 minus R. You see? For how many terms? 10. We got 10. A value, which is 1 over 2. 1 minus R value, which is 1 over 2. 10 over there. Then divided by 1 minus 1 over 2. You see? As 10. You see? If you take your calculator and punch it, you should get 0, 0,999. You see? Then approximately it's 1. You see? It's so simple, isn't it? You just need to figure out your R value, your A value, and the number of terms. Immediately after doing that, you just consider your formula. Then you get your final answer. Just like that. You see? Just like that. Just like that. So simple. Now, let me give you this one don't be afraid and it costs two one see don't be afraid now check we have different we have different symbol over there which is infinity the moment you see this infinity on your mind you just need to know that the formula which you are going to apply on this one is going to be this formula. You see, when you see this notation, you just need to know that you are must go into this formula. Then let us move now. Uh, as for this one, we don't need to figure out the number of terms because it's sum to infinity. The only thing that we need is the value of A and R. Do we have A? Yes, we can find it. How? By determining term 1. Where we see and you plug in this value. It's 1 over 2, 1 R. We already did something like this. You should get 1 over 2. Then for term 2, 2, you get... 1 over 4, term 3, you get 1 over 8. You can use a calculator for this one. See, it's not that difficult. Then this is our A value. See, this is our A value. Then for us to figure out the R value, Say T2 divided by T1, T2 divided by T1, 1 over 4 divided by this, should get 1 over 2. For this one, say T3 divided by T2, should get 1 over 2, C, which is your R value. Then, consider this formula now sum to infinity your a value we got 1 over 2 1 minus your r value we got 1 over 2 then get 1 over 2 1 minus get 1 over 2 sum to infinity then your final answer is 1 for this kind see just like this, 
I'm so sorry about the light. Eh? So sorry about the light. But this is how we determine the sum to infinity. So simple, isn't it? Then, yeah. Well, thank you and enjoy. And again, if you are new to this channel, kindly don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and enjoy.